Hey, this is Lax from 360 Trickspot, and today I'll be showing you how to put DVDs on your iPod. Um, now, the first thing I want to say is I already know about Handbrake and I already know about DVD Fab, but DVD Fab isn't free, so I don't use that. And Handbrake, it's free, but for some reason it doesn't work on my computer. It's, I don't know, something's weird with it or something. But uh, these two programs work for me, so this is what I'll be showing you today. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the description and download these two programs. So go there, I have the download links in the description, click on the download links, download them, install them, you know, same old stuff. Um, then the first program we're going to be working with is DVD Decryptor. So you want to open DVD Decryptor up. And from here you want to go to mode. Then make sure IFOI is checked. So you want to make sure IFO eyes check so just check that then go to tools go to settings go to IFO, I, IFO mode sorry and you want to click enable stream processing so make sure that's checked and where it says file splitting you want to change that to none that's very important file splitting to none click OK alright now you can insert your DVD so I'm gonna do the hangover Okay, it's reading it right now. Alright, so this box should pop up, and I am in the USA, so I'm going to choose USA. Uh, I guess if you're in Australia or whatever, just choose that. But I'm in USA, so um, click choose whatever one you know, you're know you associated with, and click OK. And now you want to click on the stream processing tab right here. Uh, make sure enable stream processing is checked. And what you want to do is you only want to check off the first two. Okay, so the first one is video. You want to make sure that's checked. Um, if you want subtitles, you can check them off. Um, I don't know why you'd want to, but uh, I'm just going to uncheck all the subtitles. And where it says audio. Uh, you can choose from French, Spanish, or English. So I'm going to choose English. So uncheck Spanish and French. So make sure only the audio and the video is checked. So right now I have um, audio and English checked and the video checked. Okay, that's perfect. So um, from there you want to go to where it says destination. Click on the folder. Um, choose where you want to save the DVD at. So I'm going to choose my desktop. Click OK. Now click on this big button right here. Alright, so it should take a little while. Um, just to throw it out an estimate, probably 20 to 30 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just going to let this finish and I'll come back. Okay, so once DVD Decryptor is finished, um, it should it should like play a sound or something. and a box should pop up saying objective completed but yeah as soon as that's totally finished just X out of DVD decryptor you won't need that anymore um, then you can open up video or iPod converter as you can see I have it open right now if you're a first time user to this it will when you open it up it will pop up another box and it will say like pick your iPod so it will have like a list of iPods and just pick whatever iPod you're using um, but that can always be changed in the settings tab which is right here but anyways um yeah so this is the home screen of the program and what you want to do is you want to click on the convert button at the top then click on video file now it has normal mode and power mode you want to choose power mode um, now you want to press the select file button go to where you saved your DVD to so I saved mine to the desktop and here it is it should have this weird name and it should be pretty big in file size as you can see it's three gigabytes but yeah choose that and click open okay now you want to choose the output directory so click browse 
and I'm just going to save it to my desktop again, but you can save it wherever you want, and click OK. Alright, now you want to give it a title, I'm just going to name it The Hangover, then I'm just going to write iPod in parentheses. Okay, and where it says device, you want to choose uh, what iPod you're using, I'm using an iPod Touch 2nd generation. And for the profile, it should just um, pick the one that's the best for that device. So you don't really have to change the profile unless you want to. Okay, so, um, yep, now that you're done with all that, you can click on the Start Converting button. Okay, now it says Conversion in Progress. Um, from here, you can convert another video file, or you can view the conversion progress. So I'm going to view the conversion progress, and um, as you can see, it's going to take probably about an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm going to come back when that's done. Okay, so it's done. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought. It said it would take like an hour and 20 minutes, but it actually took like 40 minutes, so that's good. Um, but yeah, after it's done converting, it should look like this because it's all the stuff's done. But um, it also should have transferred your video to your movie section in your iTunes for you automatically. So should have opened up your iTunes and put it in the movie section. And yep, here it is right here. Okay, um, that's it for the tutorial. I hope this helped you out, and thanks for watching.